Good day, everyone. Scooter coming to you live from the Granville Guitars World Headquarters here in lovely St. Petersburg, Florida. Today, we're going to be taking a, a close look at uh, our new line of amplifiers here. Kind of excited about it. Something I've been thinking about for a while now and just decided to plunge into it. Um, hell or high water. Uh, this is the Granville AMD uh, 50 watt British style amplifier. It's based on the uh, the 2204 circuit, which is the 50 watt platform. Let's zoom in here if I can. You can see it's it looks like an old friend on the front. Um, all the usual uh, accoutrement that you would expect of a of a Marshall amp or any British made amp of of this era. Uh, it's one of my favorite amplifiers ever since. Uh, I first heard my good friend Duff Tool uh, in my first band back in the day. He had uh, a 50 watt Marshall of this particular circuit design, and I've been in love with the sound of them ever since. I think they're wonderful and toneful, and um, just all kinds of fun. You can you can you can just have a blast with them. Um, nothing real complex about it. Um, it seems to me like the best amps are the simplest ones. And uh, this circuit was always quite a simple one. Uh, this particular amplifier is serial number three. Uh, this is still quite a new uh, project that we're embarking on here. Um, and this is the first one I've done that includes the very fine and wonderful Metropolis Amplifier's Zero Loss Effects Loop, um, which is, um, there are other products out there I just don't think any of them quite measure up to the Metropolis. Uh, it operates at a fair uh, voltage. Um, this one's actually running at around 305 volts, which is optimal for this circuit. And uh, it just sounds wonderful. It doesn't mess with the tone of the amplifier. It allows you to switch a, an, an effect, primarily delays, reverbs, that kind of thing, uh, in and out of the effects loop and uh, have the ad advantage of that effect uh, not being processed by the preamp circuitry. Uh, makes it cleaner uh, for those of you who don't want reverbs to be dirtied up by the front end of the amplifier. Well, this is how you do that. Um, let's take a look around back, shall we? All right, here we are around back. Pretty self-explanatory. Again, looks rather familiar, uh, as, as you will see here in a sec uses the traditional metal grill for the back. Very important to have that in place because it helps to dissipate heat from the rear of the amplifier. Um, if you're having overheating issues with your Marshall, try making sure that thing's in place and it may solve your problem. Uh, IEC power right there and two fuse holders. Uh, switches for uh, mains voltage and impedance. My preference is to always use the highest impedance, but the other two are there. Should you want them, there is my uh, slogan, serial number, etc. And down here we have the, uh, the Metropolis Zero Loss Effects Loop uh, comfortably installed in the, in the end of this thing. You can see we have the return and, and send jacks and also a switch to bypass the circuit. Uh, you can also modify the circuit to have an external switch for uh, plus 20 and negative 4 for input. Uh, and it could successfully be modified for uh, level controls if necessary. Um, but I don't really like rack gear for guitar amps. Um, typically, it's always pedals. Um, I was not much of an effects loop guy, but I've gotten to... Uh, Converse with George Metropolis a little bit and uh, found out about his amplifiers, which are awesome. Absolutely awesome. Go check them out. And uh, he has a, a cool boost pedal he makes now and also, of course, the uh, Zero Loss. Uh, the pedal I'm running through this thing today is the same thing that my good friend Eric Rutan uses in his. And you've probably seen my other video. Maybe you haven't. Go seek it out. I put a Metropolis effects loop in one of his um, main JCM 800 100 watt amps uh, that he treasures, 
And that turned out really good. And that changed my mind, I think, about effect sleeps in general. But we're using the uh, Boss RV3 Digital uh, Reverb and Delay, which is real fun in the effects loop for messing around with uh, lead playing and such. Uh, sort of Gilmore-ish Gilmore -ish soundscape kind of things. But that's pretty much it for the back. Uh, you can see the inside of, of one of my amps on another video. Actually, you can see the inside of my first two amps, serial number one and two. I did a video of those. This one's uh, identical inside, except for the effects loop. Um, and that's pretty much all that's going on here. Uh, I use a turret board construction internally. Um, I make the turret boards myself. Um, I've been desirous of making this thing as much handmade and as much made by me as I possibly could. And so I've, I've begun doing that. And as a matter of fact, I can show one to you. All right, here we go. Let's see if the camera will pick this up. That's fresh off the off the drill press. Um, so um, as of serial number four, uh, the Granville AMD 800 will have turret boards made by me right here in my shop. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> I like making them. They they uh, there, there's a there's a zen about it, I guess. Um, anyway. Enough of my yakking. Let's hear what this thing sounds like. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> um, I've got the, um, let's see, the Prius set at noon. Uh, Prius set at noon, sorry. Volume is at about two and a half. Um, treble is somewhere around three or so. Mid is a little past 12, uh, bass is at 2, and presence is a little higher than bass. Um, I like an amp that doesn't make me mess around with the tone controls a whole bunch. Uh, so the tone controls are rather subtle. Uh, the basic tonality of the amp is, is that of mid-range push, and um, y the reason for that is to really allow the player to use the volume controls on the guitar to do what they have to do. So I'm going to set the volumes, both of them, on about five. Back them down just a little more. kind of sound you would typically expect to get out of a Marshall. It's quite chimey and To it, it gets a little more grindy. Now it'll clean up even more than that. I've got the input gain, the, the preamp, pretty hot. So if we back that thing down some and bring the master up. The idea is to give you fingertip control over the sound of the guitar.
Now that you've heard that tone a little bit, I'm going to turn on the reverb delay pedal and let you hear it with that in using the Metropolis uh, Zero Loss effects loop. I just turned the pedal on. <laughs> That's with the pre-gain at about three. It'll drive harder. controls and you get it right back. You could set up a rhythm tone on your neck pickup. lead on the bridge.
So there you go. It's quite a simple beast, but it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy this circuit. I get lost in it. You know, just having having fun with it. Now it takes pedals really well. I'm not going to plug anything in other than the, the reverb delay pedal. Um, it, it it responds to overdrives real well, compressors, whatever you want to throw in the front of it. It it has plenty of input headroom to allow that sort of thing. I've made sure of that. So, anyway, uh, that's the uh, Granville AMD 800 serial number three with the uh, Metropolis Zero Loss effects loop installed. Uh, if you got any questions about anything we do here at Granville Guitars, seek us out on the web at granvilleguitars.com. Also on Instagram and Facebook, and the blog of you from the Granville Bench over at WordPress. That's all I know for today. Have a rockin' good day.